Hey, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix your Xbox Series 2 Elite controller from the um, trigger sticking. So if you have that issue, this video should be able to help you out. Now, first things first, in order to fix it, you're going to have to take apart the controller and gut it like that. If you've never done it before, the controller is like that, the case. And what I did is I took one of those plastic prying tools, went through here, went through the other side, pried a little bit until the faceplate came off. And when that happens, the controller would be sitting like this. And there are six screws. So one of them actually goes here and is covered by white tape. As soon as you remove that screw, it lets them know that you've played with the controller and the void will be, uh, the warranty will be void. But there are six screws, so one there, one here, uh, one there by the buttons, down here, down here, and I don't know where I missed the other one, but yeah, there's six of them. So when you take those apart finally, you're going to be able to open up the controller, and what I need to do is just lift this here. Um, now keep in mind, actually, when you pry it open, it's going to be a little bit difficult because they have like adhesive tape here. So if it's your first time, you're going to have to go through there carefully about a couple of times and then pry it slowly. You know what I mean? Hopefully you don't break these clips. So if you can visualize, like go here, go there, like in between the clips kind of thing. Um, so the reason that the joystick controller is sticking is if you look here, this is a piece of plastic right there at the edge. You see that little plastic that's coming out? And now on top of that, there's a rubber piece. And that is, um, it works with, I believe, this part of the controller, it goes down into it, or maybe I'm tripping. Regardless, um, this is part of the controller. So if this thing ends up becoming loose or moving, or falling off completely, um, it might get sticky from the residue because it is tape. And then you're going to have those sticky issue problems. So this one for us is working fine. No problem, the right trigger. The issue for us was the left trigger. So if you see that piece of plastic there, I also had this piece of tape that was on top of it. That's the piece of tape I'm talking about. And it was sitting on top like here but it wasn't fully covering it so i guess over time it ended up moving like down here and it was like halfway falling over i try to tape it back on um on that part like how it should be and then um tighten up the controller i showed it to my brother it was a lot lot better than it was before but he said uh let's try it with no tape so now i've removed it completely and i've already tried it with no tape so the difference is it works perfectly like this joystick does i mean trigger but it makes a little bit of more noise when you go down like the smoothness is perfect there's no stickiness it just makes a little bit of noise because that rubber piece is supposed to like absorb the shock right so um if you are able to like put that back on perfectly and have no residue there you should be fine but if it doesn't go on perfectly like it didn't for me or like it you could put it on perfectly but it's coming loose apart here and there, then you're going to have those issues with the stickiness. So what I'm going to do is put this back together and I'll show you guys when it's back together. But um, this is how you would fix the stickiness problem. So there's either two ways. One is to keep the thing on there, uh, clean it, make sure nothing's sticky around it, keep it on there how it should be, hope for the best. If not, worst comes to worst, you just remove that piece. The only thing is this is going to be a little louder and I'll try to show you that when I put it back to con the controller together. Okay, so I put it back together without the tape. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to hear, but I feel like this even goes down faster now without the tape. So it is a lot louder than this trigger. Like it's louder, but there's no sticking. I don't know, and I feel like this moves faster than this one now. So if you can deal with that, man, that's how you fix it. Um, like I said, you could try to keep that back on, but if it's still giving you that sticky stuff, just take it off. It'll be a little louder, but at least your controller will be working. Hope that helps. See you guys in the next video. Peace.